may be seated in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say World Vision Day. Somebody say World Vision Day. It's very hard to gather around a day. It's very hard. Somebody say World Vision Day. It's very hard to gather around a day. We can always hide in the things that do not demand a day. Glory to God. But I hear the Lord saying that we have got to promote, present, make visible the day. The day. The day. God made man in a day. Come on, somebody. <laughs> God caused Israel to cross the Red Sea in a day. Is anybody there? Jesus came on a day. Come on, somebody. Huh? He sent his power. Come on, on a day. The day of Pentecost. Huh? The former rain was not just a season. The former rain struck on a day. Holy Ghost, help me to communicate. I'm trying to get us to go beyond the, the loose, vague understanding of the outpouring. I'm trying to get us beyond that general hide kind of a outpouring. I'm, I'm trying to get us to have some account. I'm trying to get us to have to give an account for a day just as how if you miss a day on the job, you won't necessarily be fired, but you must give an account. Maybe you were sick. Maybe, come on, something went wrong, but you're given account for a day. Are you getting me right now? If your boss just leave things loose and could not account for a day, he could not know how good a worker you are. You, you have to get that day you sign in at the time when you sign in for those who sign in, but there's got to be a day. In other words, the year that you want is broken up into days and you've got to give an account for a day. Come on, Holy Ghost, tell me here. Somebody say, World Vision Day. Ha! Huh. Anybody heard about Israel? The Lord prophesied not only that Pentecost would be on a day, but that Israel would be born on a day. And I believe it was April 17, help me if I got the date, uh, 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 two, two, yeah, yes, let me say again. Help me with the day. Get me the day. Come on. April what? April 15, 1948, Israel became a nation. God prophesied, He said, Shall a nation be born in a day? Help me. Somebody say a day. Somebody say a day. Holy Ghost, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. And Jesus said, I will send the Holy Ghost and He will guide you into all truth and he will tell you of things to come Joel says in 2 and verse 28 in the last days I'll pour up my spirit upon all flesh and old men Jim James etc etc and your sons and daughters shall prophesy somebody say a day we have got to give an account for this prophecy on a day Day. Jesus will return on a day. He 
it and stretch it for 10 years but he'll be coming on a day watch this day stuff watch those holy folks those powerful folks who can handle the day Ah, they're full of the Holy Ghost, full of fire, but can't handle the whole body of Christ coming together on a day. We can always say we are united and say we are working together as different churches. We can always leave it loose ah, and visit each other once per year and say that we are in fellowship. But what about us coming together worldwide on a day? This is the problem of the body of Christ we can't come together from Australia to California on a day Holy Ghost help this little preacher here somebody and God in his power gave a revelation that the body of Christ must practice like the Lord does it the same way Pentecost came on a day and God made the earth on a day come on and Israel was born on a day if you want to prove that you have gotten amen the wind of God you have got to choose a day and come together and do the mightiest thing amen a child of God can do on that day the Bible says that thing he said heaven rejoice when that thing happened holy ghost God said that thing I'm talking about but I want you to do on that day he said the angels rejoice over one holy ghost somebody say a day somebody say word vision day hallelujah hallelujah we hide no more it's time for a day hallelujah hallelujah in Jesus in Jesus some of the world vision day and let me back up a little bit the day is the end of it because the Bible said that the end of a thing is better than the beginning. Let me back up and get to the beginning. It's a world. World. Most folks can't handle world. They can't handle day. They can't, they can't handle world. They just love their little thing. They love their little culture. They love their little skin color. Come on, somebody. You can imagine in 2014. Folks talking to folks about skin color. But naughty folks. Come on, somebody. But savage folks. You can't handle my words right now. When you see they're talking about skin color, they are savages. They still ain't developed yet. And what nation you come from and what is your culture? These kind of people do these kind of things. And these kind of people are like this and like that. Prejudice. And can't angle the world. Are you getting me? This is what I'm preaching. I can't preach it, but I'm just trying. We can't angle a day. We want it loose. And we can't angle the world. We can't assimilate with every culture. Come on, somebody. It can't be the school and easy between you and another culture without you even mention it. Without you even feel good about it. I have to announce that we are multicultural. You don't need to say it because it's required. God says he made all men of one blood. Come on, somebody here. Yeah. Somebody say world. Somebody say world. Somebody say world. Somebody say world. Here's our problem. All we want is our culture. We know everything about our culture. And my country this and my country that. My country is good in that. We got, we, we, we got the best runner. We got the best, this, the best food. The best is and whatever. The devil is a liar. 
Come on, somebody here. When Israel came out of Egypt, and as they went towards Canaan, and they were crossing through Ethiopia, I'm going to lose somebody here. Amen. Moses met upon the Ethiopian woman. Help me here, somebody. And he married to the Ethiopian woman, and his brother and his sister, who were full of prejudice, came against him. Amen for marrying to the Ethiopian woman and God judged them. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. You've gotta be careful. Somebody say world. Somebody say world. Somebody say world. Somebody say a day. You better come with me. You better come with me. You better come with me. Somebody say a day. Somebody say a day. Somebody say a day. Somebody say a day. Somebody say, I'm gonna do it on a day. You're not coming with me. You're not coming. You're fighting me. You're fighting me. You're for, you, want, you want to tell me what to preach, but that ain't going to happen. Somebody say, I did. Somebody say, I did. Somebody say, I did. Somebody say, I did. Somebody say, world. You're fighting me. You're fighting me. You're fighting me. Somebody say, world. Somebody say, world. Somebody say, world. Somebody say, world. Somebody say, for God so love the world. Come on, somebody. I didn't hear. There's no verse in the Bible. God so love Jamaica. Come on, somebody. Our Burundi, our Barbados, our Trinidad. Come on, our Cameroon. Come on, our Italy. Come on, somebody. If you want your country in the Bible, look in your Bible and you see the word world. My God. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. If I never hear about your country, that is all right. Hey, Amen. Your country is in the world. Come on, somebody here. Come on, somebody. Somebody saw the world. Somebody saw the world. Someone said, world. Someone said, devil, let me go. Devil, let me go. She baba. I am not local. I am global. I'm gonna lose you here. Somebody wanna tell me what to preach, but you're not gonna tell me what to preach. Somebody shout, I am global. Somebody, I am global. I ain't, I'm not local, nor national. I am international. Give God praise, somebody. They are giving me trouble with your little skin color. You're acting the selfish. Come on, somebody. Come on. I come to give trouble here. God, so we got to get there. We got to get there. We got to go beyond our good things. God, so I ain't going to allow you to go to Tarshish no more, church. You're going to go to Nineveh. You're going to do it the right way. Come on, somebody. I don't want to put you in any whale belly. So get it right now. Someone say, World Vision Day. Someone say, World Vision Day. Someone say, World Vision Day. Somebody say, A day. Somebody say, A day. Somebody say, A day. Somebody say, A day. Somebody say, World. Someone say, World. Someone say, World. Someone say, In the name of Jesus, I am. For the world, in the name of Jesus, I am ready for a day, world vision day, world vision day, give God praise. Someone say vision, someone say vision, somebody say vision. No matter how educated you are, no matter how many degrees you are, Proverbs, you have Proverbs 29, 18. It says, without vision. He said, where there is no vision, the people perish. No matter how politically astute and qualified you are, as a head of government without vision the people perish in the past many hundred years ago a government would never go into any major thing without he hear from a prophet 
Come on, somebody. Even if it does not come in the news, he has a session where he inquires from a prophet. Ah, and, and things are gone so bad today they have no regard for the prophet right there God gave right in this December here 2013 just seven months ago God gave a revelation right here that there is a, a, a disease about to come upon the earth and it starts in the northern hemisphere and it goes to Africa and it will start by by a bird-like creature or a bat and it will cause great trouble in Africa it was spoken right here but they fight the prophets come on somebody and before the eyes of the world we see Ebola explode on the earth from from Guinea to Liberia to Sierra Leone to, to Nigeria to, 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 to Saudi Arabia and Algeria and, and Morocco and, and now hitting Canada and New York and, and Ohio and, and Texas and oh my God of mercy here uh, and all over oh, because they would not listen to the prophet I hear me somebody somebody said why didn't the prophet make sure that the whole world here no the prophet can't do that for God says in Matthew 13 11 to 13 he said thereby speak I to them in parables for seeing they see not hearing they hear not neither do they understand understand because their eyes cannot see their ears are dull of hearing and their hearts are wax gross God can't release it God, God has not given us the ability to let the whole world know they must have regard for the prophets they must have regard for the visionaries God says in 2 Chronicles 36 and verse 16 he said those that mock the prophets and this his words and misuse his promise. God said my wrath will come upon them until there is no remedy. The Ebola disease has no cure. It has no remedy. You have to be careful how you ignore a prophetic word. You have to be careful how you ignore vision. God gave a revelation right in the same uh, two or three months ago and he said that a major earthquake will strike the east and it will strike China and it struck and many dead. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. Somebody say a day. Somebody say world. Somebody say vision. Yes church it's time for vision. It's time for the church to go beyond ability. Good sermons, good singing, good shouting, good counseling, good teaching, good evangelism. God says that is good. But I need for you to go to a level that they know only God can. I told you, yeah, come on somebody. I'm going to take you to a level body of Christ that when you speak, they know but only God can tell you that. For he says in John 13 and verse 19, he says, I tell you these things before that when it come to pass, they will know that I am here. They will know that Jesus is almighty God. I'm going to lose you somebody. Let me tell you something. Don't try to explain in detail how to know a true prophet. Give one little one little requirement in Deuteronomy 18 and verse 22. He said to know a true prophet is that what he prophesies come to pass. Hallelujah. I am there over and over and over and over. It come to pass. Why God made that requirement so simple? Let me tell you why. Because nobody else can do it. Buddhists can't get it right. Hindus can't get it right. Come on, somebody. Nostradamus 
can't get it right. You're not ready for me here. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God. If I come and give you the details of just Thomas, you will not call his name again in your mouth. Come on, somebody. Somebody prophesy that this last pope, what's it's gonna be? Uh, that uh, fix it, fix it, fix it. Somebody prophesy that this pope gonna be uh, the last pope. Uh, oh, I know it's not the last pope because he ain't saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. He can't be right. Come on, somebody here. Come on, somebody. You have to be saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost to hear God's word. God says in, in Psalm 25 and verse 14, he said you have to fear God to prophesy. Say amen, somebody. Somebody say, a day. Someone said a day. Someone said word. Someone said vision. God says in Job 24 and verse 1. He said, why seen times are not hidden from the Almighty? Do they that know me not see my days? God said, why the church is so big and so powerful and can't see what is to come? Jesus says in John 16, I guide you into all truth and I tell you of things to come. So what's the problem? What's the problem? Boston bombing and Sunday church was hot and nobody know. 9-11, Sunday church was hot the weekend before and nobody knows the devil is a liar. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. Hallelujah. It's time for vision. God said in Amos 3 and verse 7, I will do nothing unless I reveal it unto my servants, the prophets. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. God says, I'm about to cause the church to demonstrate my power beyond the good of all religions. When they see my power, they know that you serve the true and living God. Say amen, somebody. Say amen, somebody. I'm going to cause the, the church to stand up when they say, don't say God, my God of mercy, it will come to pass and cause the enemies of the cross to be confounded because it will surely come to pass. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. There's a woman right now who walk 1,000 miles. Give me a little more in the mic. 1,000 miles from somewhere in Atlanta all the way to Ohio. And somebody sent and asked us why is this woman doing this? And we sent and we let them know she is demonstrating Amos 8 and verse 11 and 12 that says in the last days God will come cause a famine for the word of God they'll go to and fro all over and can't find the word why because it's not time for the intelligent word it's not time for the intellectual word it's not time for the well organized word it's time for the prophetic word of God my God of mercy here it's time Rabakashi, for God's people to speak the mysteries that never a man speak somebody shout vision somebody shout vision somebody shout vision Daniel said in chapter 2 and verse 2 God revealed the deep and secret things ain't nobody saying amen here and God said this is the thing in these last days he said in 1st Samuel chapter 3 and verse 7 he said God said I'm going to cause a thing to happen on the earth that will cause men's ear to think this is new he says in Isaiah 42 and verse 9, he says, The former things are come to pass, and behold, I do a new thing. Oh, glory to God. Somebody said, Vision. He says in Isaiah 41 and verse 15, he said, Behold, I make you a new thing sharp 
threshing instrument. Somebody say new. Somebody say new. He said you shall thresh the mountains low and you shall break them small. Come on preacher. I ain't following you. I understand if you can't follow me. For God said in Hosea 8 and verse 12. He says I've shown you the new things of my law but you consider it a strange thing. For God said in Isaiah 48 and verse 6 he said I've shown you these things and you don't know it. Is anybody with me here? Somebody here. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. Somebody say vision. God is about to shake the planet. Rabaka with vision. Come on somebody. So God is raising up visionaries. Glory to God. Visionaries for world revival. Somebody shout vision. Somebody shout vision. Somebody say world vision day. Somebody say world vision day. Somebody say world 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 sit down so God said I'm raising up world visionaries world visionaries world visionaries you're going to see from the top of the mountain yeah not valley visionaries not plain visionaries not hillside visionaries but summit summit visionaries mountain top visionaries that's why it says in Isaiah 52 and verse 7 are beautiful upon the mountain help me church are the feet of those that bring good tide Moses went to the mountain to hear God come on is anybody me somebody Elijah went to Mount Carmel oh, Jesus preached on the mount come on somebody I'm talking about the top of the mountain God is about to bring the church on the top of the mountain that's why it says in Isaiah 4 Isaiah chapter 2 help me somebody help me Isaiah quick 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 help me in Isaiah chapter 2 here God said I'm going to cause my people to gather on the mountain and they're going to see God said do not be afraid of this this is what I'm about to do with you I hear God say lay aside the weight lay aside the many good things that you are doing and God said I'm going to speak to your church I'm going to cause you to see in the spirit when they rise up against the church you're going to prophesy to Boko Haram you're going to prophesy to ISIS you're going to prophesy to Hamas you're going to prophesy to Hezbollah am I losing somebody here amen you're going to speak thus set the Lord because the prophetic word in your mouth is the sword of the spirit come on somebody and Jesus says when I return I'm going to return with a two edged sword in my mouth somebody say world vision day yes church this is it that's what this is about that's what's about October 4. October 4. Come on. I know it don't sound traditional. And the sermon topic is kind of, kind of weird. I got a mercy. He said it was at 8 and verse 12. It's going to be strange. Come on, somebody. Yes. October 4. Somebody said, Why are you setting dates? Why you don't let the Lord set dates? Somebody. Why are you sitting there? Why don't you wait on the Lord? That's where we hide. That's where we hide. But the Bible says in James 5 and verse 7, and I'm closing. He said, The husbandman waited for the fruit of the vineyard. And he waited for it. 
while we're waiting on God, he's waiting on us. He has already sent his son. He has already planted the seed. He has already planted the vineyard. And he's waiting on the vineyard to grow and to be a fruit. Oh my God of mercy, glory to God. When it's reaping time, farmer, reap. Farmer, don't plant. Come on, somebody. Are we hearing me, somebody? Some of the world vision day. Some of the world vision day. Some of the world vision day. Somebody say world vision day. The father is waiting. Not only is the father waiting. Not only is the husband man waiting, the creature is waiting. Not only is the creator waiting, but the creature is waiting. In Romans 8 and verse 19, he said the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Stand up everybody. Stand up everybody. Visionaries. Visionaries. Church visionaries. Church, quit hiding. Body of Christ, quit hiding in the norms of Christianity. Get ready. God said, I'm going to stretch you. I'm going to stretch you. I'm going to tell you things to come. I'm going to put you above Islam. I'm going to put you above Hindu. I'm going to cause you to speak that Islam will want to hear what you have to say. Hallelujah. 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 Get ready to become world visionaries. Mountain top visionaries. Summit visionaries. Get ready, get ready, get ready church. Get ready to see far. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. There is a, a minister who planning to break away from the move. Yes. Yes, a minister. But God said to tell you, you don't need to break away. Because if you break away, you're going to want to break in. Oh, Jesus. No. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Did you hear what I'm saying? You see, the, the devil don't like this. He don't like revelation. He don't like to see ahead. He, he, he can handle this stuff when he can only see now. He don't want to see ahead. Yeah, there is a minister. You are working on it. It's not total. You're, you're kind of struggling. You wonder if you should go forward or not. But there's a minister. You're struggling. Ah, I, I want to go off. I want to go off. God said, don't break away. Because if they break away, you will want to break in. When you see what's out there, you will want to break into the window. Or through the chimney. And if you break through the window, you can be shot. If you break into the chimney, you can be killed. But God said, you can break all right, but break foot. God of mercy. You ain't saying amen here. I'm losing here. God said to tell you, there is nothing to stop you, but do it the right way. Go ahead and break foot. When you break forward, you will do it decently. When you break forward, you will ask for prayer. When you break forward, you will try to keep the unity. Come on, somebody. When you break forward, you won't tear down before you depart. You will build up before you depart. Come on, somebody. So that you can get a piece of the revival. You ain't coming with me, somebody. The devil don't lie. My God. But somebody say, world vision day. This convention is geared to mobilize the body of Christ. To mobilize 
1.5 million visionaries of a world revival. God said every sinner must be given the opportunity to become a believer. They won't all get saved, but they must get the opportunity. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost can hear some crying that the summer is ended and we are not saved. We are not heard. The gospel. God want to raise up every sinner to be a believer. Say amen. And every believer to become a preacher. Oh yes. Oh yes. You can. You can just say yes and you will become a preacher. I didn't say a pastor. I didn't say a bishop even though you can if the Lord lead. Amen. But a preacher. Every believer. Somebody say a preacher. Somebody say a preacher. Somebody say a preacher. One of the greatest testimonies that we heard on, on July 5 were the many, 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 many people who were preaching about storm and they were doing it for the first time. My God. And they said that when they began to preach, almost every one of them, they could not stop. Someone say, every sinner a believer. Every believer a preacher. And every believer and every preacher a seer. Every preacher a seer. For in the last days I'll put up my spirit. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Today, we want to invite every unbeliever Every person who is not saved to come. I'm going to ask my wife to come and do this part. We want every person not saved. You've got to come. It starts with you. It starts with you. Every person not saved. There's overseer calling sin. Glory to God. Every person not saved. You need to become a believer. This thing is more than what can be spoken in a 40 minute sermon now. It's deep. Sin a man. Come to Jesus. Bless the Lord. Come unto me. Jesus said all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. The way the world is going today. You don't want to live without Jesus Christ. Let me invite you to an altar of prayer. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon the Lord while he's near. So let the wicked man forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let them come unto the Lord and he will abundantly pardon. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ and live. Call upon him while he may be found. Can you make a bold step to the altar and we lead you to the Lord? Make a bold step. Jesus loves you and he wants to save you. Jesus is the answer. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ and live. Would you make a bold step to the altar today and say, yes, Lord, here I am. Seek Jesus Christ and live. Put a trust in him. Call upon him while he can be found. Hallelujah. 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 Give a life over to Jesus. He wants to save you. Would you make a bold step to the altar today? You're here and you're not saved. Don't stay in your seat. He said he come to seek and to save those that are lost. Seek Jesus Christ today. Call upon the Lord Jesus Christ and live. Put a trust in him. If you are here today and you're not saved, let me invite you to an altar of prayer. Jesus wants to save you. Glory to God. Let me invite the choristers. Can I come? Praise God. If you're here today and not saved, praise God. Let me invite the choristers. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. No one wants to go to hell. I don't think so. Hell is a place, the Bible said, where the worms never die 
and the fire never quenched. Thank you, brother. Praise God. Everybody else who is who are not saved, I'm going to invite you to come. Come and seek the Lord. There is room at the cross. Make use of the opportunity. You. Make use of the opportunity. There is room. Make use of the opportunity. At the cross for you. Today is the day of salvation. No millions have come. Hallelujah. There is still room for one. Sing the Lord Jesus Christ and live. There is room. Hallelujah. At the cross for you. Would you make a bold step and come? Because of time, I'm going to ask you to come quickly. Glory to God. But I'm going to ask these at the altar to pray this prayer in your heart and mean it. Jesus Christ is waiting for you. Glory to God. That's why he died on the cross to save us. Amen. Praise God. The door is wide open so you can enter in today and have eternal life. Have peace with God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to ask you to... Hallelujah. In the audience, I'm going to ask you to believe with these at the altar. Glory to God as I lead them to the Lord right now. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is here. He said his arms are outstretched. Glory to God. Pray this prayer after me, brother. And my sister, praise God. Pray this prayer after me and just mean it in your heart. Jesus is here to save us. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And those of you who are watching, I'm going to ask you to pray this prayer and believe in your heart. For with the mouth confession is made, but with the heart man believe it unto righteousness. So I'm going to, so they are believing right now. I'm going to ask them to confess with their mouth and accept Jesus Christ in their heart. Pray with me as loud as I can. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you. I realize that I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. Right now, Father, I'm asking you to forgive me of all my sin, wash me, cleanse me in your blood, and make me whole. I now surrender my life totally to you, and accept you as Lord and Master of my life. I thank you, Lord, for forgiving me of all my sins. I am not yours. I'm not yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer and mean it in your heart, the word of God said, is declare you saved. For as I, I repeat it again. For with the heart man believe it, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm going to ask you to raise your hands, and we're going to be praying for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Raise your hands. Yes, yes. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. We're going to be praying for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come around, minister. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come around, minister. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just raise your hands. Just raise your hand. Praise God. Hallelujah. Almighty God, here we come before your presence right now. 
Almighty God, we place these and those that are watching, God Almighty, into your hands. God Almighty, as they confess their sins to you, God Almighty, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ against every weapon of the adversary, Satan, may break your hold right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We command you to take your hands of these God's property. They no longer belong to you, that they belong to the Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we minister deliverance, freedom in the name of Jesus. And God Almighty, you said, whom the Son set free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we break every chain. We destroy the weapons of the adversary. In the name of Jesus, God Almighty, wash them in your blood as you said. Cleanse them, Lord. Make them clean. Make them whole from the crown of their head to the very sole of their feet and God Almighty said none that cometh unto you you will in no wise cast out God Almighty you have called them and you have saved them hallelujah place them in your hands in Jesus mighty name hallelujah be thou made whole be thou made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Salabashako, talabashata. Holy Ghost, thank you, Jesus. Just raise your hand and just thank the Lord for saving you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you to go all the way, my brother. Glory to God. The Bible said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You pray the prayer, you confess. God declares you're saved, but go all the way. Put on the ring. Baptism is a ring. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You said, I'm all the way with you, Jesus. I am totally yours. Glory to God, my sister. Just go all the way with Jesus Christ. We have changed for you. You can take your water baptism today that before you go through the door. Hallelujah. The devil has no hold upon you. You said, devil, I believe. I pray and I take my water baptism glory to God and I'm all the way for Jesus hallelujah glory to God go with this hallelujah deaconess praise God hallelujah thank you Jesus God bless your praise God hallelujah glory to God hallelujah bless the name of Jesus praise God hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah bless our Lord hallelujah strengthen our Lord hallelujah glory to God use the Lord for the praise and for the glory of your name Bishop Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you who are watching, I'll find a Bible really believe in church. Take your water baptism and go all the way with Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. If you're ready to answer the call, bless the Lord. This afternoon, praise God, to be world visionaries, summit visionaries. Let's gather at the altar right now. Bless the name of the Lord. Gather at the altar right now. Glory to God. Glory to God. You want God, hallelujah, to raise you up as a world visionary, as a summit visionary, as a mountaintop visionary. Bless the name of Jesus in these last days. Glory to God. God, draw close to the altar. Bless the name of Jesus. Draw close to the altar. Bless the name of the Lord and receive that outpouring from the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone right now, glory to God. Hallelujah. As you receive from the Lord, glory to God, the summit, a visionary, glory to God, outpouring, hallelujah. Draw close to the altar. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Draw close. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. Bless the name of Jesus. You ever heard the word of the Lord? Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. The world, praise God, vision day. Glory to God. As God is pouring out of his spirit across the world and is raising up sons and daughters to prophesy. As he said in the last days, God will pour his spirit upon all flesh. Glory to God and you shall prophesy. Bless the name of the Lord. We don't just want to go on normal. Bless the name of Jesus. But we know that God is raising up visionaries across the world. Hallelujah. How you want to receive that right now? You're ready to answer that call right now. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Draw to the altar. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.
there is not enough time to express this peak that God is looking for the body of Christ. So come. It's not like we, we have done well in trying to explain and express. Yes, God says, who is as blind as my servant? Yes, yes, yes. The way things are right now, you, you want to get a hold of what God, you want to get a, don't wait until you hear the right word. Don't wait until you hear the perfect call. You, you just want to be at the altar for whatever God is doing right now. All we little leaders, all we little leaders trying to represent and present the fullness of God, we can't. We can only give a little we can only give a token and a foretaste and a symbol, but you got to have a hunger. He said, those who are hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've heard of preachers who lack enough faith uh, and somebody who needed healing would say to the preacher, yes, touch me preacher, pray for me preacher, and they would be healed in spite of the preacher. Don't judge it by the preacher. Don't judge it by the abilities judge it by the faith you have and say God I want this from you Lord I want more than what the preacher is preaching about because a preacher is only man but God I want the fullness Lord I want to see visions and dreams I want my eyes to be open what's happening to the earth right now I can't afford for my eyes to be closed I can't afford for the things of the earth to become a surprise to me, I want you, Lord. Yes, world visionaries draw closer to the altar. World visionaries, it can't all be said in one sermon. That's what God is doing. He's about to raise up the visionaries for the world, for the world, for the world in every country, in every country, in every country. God. God has ordered for the visionaries to arise. That's why he said all flesh. He said all flesh. You've got to come for your country. You've got to come for your state. You've got to come for your province. You've got to come for your region. Yes, visionaries worldwide. Visionaries who will go forth. I hear the Lord saying that much of the media will not be able to get it done not too long from now. Because the media will be so controlled more than it is already controlled. But my visionaries across the world, those preachers, those visionaries across the world, they will carry the gospel. They will prophesy of the coming of the Lord and the signs of his coming. World visionaries. World visionaries. World visionaries. World visionaries can preach anywhere, any culture, any place. They can preach because they are world visionaries. They're willing to go to Nineveh. They will not run after Tarshish. They will go to Nineveh with the anointed prophetic word of God. This is it, church. This is it, church. Will you pray right now? Will you pray right now? And say, Lord. Visit me, visit me, visit me. Go ahead, go ahead. If there's any sin in your life, ask him forgiveness. If there's any sin in your life, ask him forgiveness. World visionaries. World visionaries. World visionaries. World visionaries. World visionaries. Hmm. 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 Jesus. Yes. Show me your, your way, Lord. Go ahead and pray here. Yeah, boss. World visionaries. Summit visionaries. Ah. Mountain top visionaries. Mm, mountain peak visionaries. Mm, supernatural, supernatural. Mm, I'm taking you beyond being a good believer. Mm, show me a way, Lord. I am. Yeah. Show me a way. Oh. Show. Oh. 
Lord. Me away, Lord. Show me away. Yeah. Let me see in the spirit. Oh, let me see. Yes, Lord. Mm. Hear her cry, Lord. Hear her cry, Lord. Open, open, open. Open her eyes. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Receive it. Receive it right now. Receive it now. Come on, Bishop. Help me. Overseers, help me. Receive it now. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That which you hunger for, that which you hunger for is up on you. You will see the Holy Ghost. You will see the Spirit. Ah, yeah. Shiva, Shiva. You're not only a preacher. You're a seer. You're a seer. You're a seer. You're a seer. Revelation, dreams. Reach out, church. Reach out, church. Reach out. Show me a way, Lord. Uh -huh. Show me a way. Uh -huh. Show me a way, Lord. Show me a way. Let me see in the spirit. Let me see. Ah, show me your way, Lord. Let me see. Yeah. Show me your way. Ah. Um, show me. Ah. Um, yeah. Show. Wave a hand, brother. Ah. I command these eyes to open. Ah. Open your eyes. Ah. Let him see in the speed. Well, let him see. Yeah. Show me your way, Lord. Abba. Lift a hand. Let him see. Let her see. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! Open her eyes, Lord. Ah, open her eyes. Oh! Fijan! 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 World visionary! World visionary! Receive it now! Hey, hey, hey. Uh, show me your way. Let me see. Reach out. Show me your way, Lord. Reach out. Show me way. Oh, oh, oh. Show. Let me see. Ah. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Ah. Hey. Yeah. Ah. Let me see. Ah. 
Yes, Lord. Show her, Jesus. Show. Open these eyes. Open these eyes. Multiplied visions. Revelation. A world visionary. A world visionary. You are. Hey. Show me your way, Lord. Show me your way. Shall see, see, see. Shaba ba 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 ba. Raba ba 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 ba. World visionary. World visionary. Ah! Huh. I've done on way, Lord. Huh. Hi. Vision, 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 vision. Ah! Let me see. Overseer Evans, ah, show me your way, show me your way, show me your way, my oh, bishop, bishop Reed, show me your way, let me see, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord praise, glory to God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Bless the name.